Today we're going to talk about how to declutter your mind quickly now. Welcome to the Best Years Podcast. This is Dr. Darlene speaking to Generation X and baby boomers who want more. I'll share power, skills, and tools with you to get your mojo back and love your life. Dr. Darlene here on the go. I'm ready to go to the gym in just a little bit. And I thought, you know, I'm going to take a minute to share one of the most important things in my life. How to declutter your mind quickly now. Who needs that? Just baby boomers? Or everybody. I think everyone does. So how much do you need to declutter your mind 1 to 10? Let's say 0 is I don't need to declutter my room or my mind because I am literally organized and everything's in order. So that'd be a 0. And a 10 would be, ah, and no, no, no. And just a minute. Cacti- what? Wait, what did you say? Wait, okay, so- I can't really hear you. Okay, okay, just a minute, just a minute. All right, well, so that would be a 10. So on a scale from 1 to 10, where are you right now? I know that on a scale from 1 to 10, I need this process probably more than anything I teach ever. I need it more than self-esteem. I need it more than anything because there's a whole lot of stuff going on in my mind Duh, tons of stuff going on in my mind yeah right mm-hmm so let's get busy let's get busy quickly on the go and I promise you whatever you are at 1 to 10 you will be more organized by the time we're done with this short video by far and away, and you'll probably end up to be zero to three or four at the most. Yeah, you ready? Okay, first thing, I want you to uh, pull off the road, huh, if you're driving, and get a piece of paper out. If you don't want to pull off the road, then listen carefully and do a lot of visualization. Be careful as you're driving. If you're sitting in your room, then maybe you can get a piece of paper and pencil. If you're doing it in your mind, then what you want to do is think about everything going on in the conscious mind right now. Not the unconscious retrieval stuff, but in your mind right now that wants attention in the conscious mind. You know, the conscious mind is Little Mermaid and she has her little flashlight. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Na-da-da-da, my complaint. Can dunk dun complete la da 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 da, and she's looking at everything. What she's shining her flashlight on is the conscious mind. Everything else is in the unconscious mind. She knows it's there somewhere. I could retrieve it, but on the conscious mind, what you're shining your light on is the conscious mind. So go ahead and think for a minute. Write it down or think about it. Okay. Yeah. Thinking about all those things. You got your taxes, you got this to do, you got that to do, you got this person calling you, you got this, that. And yeah, lots and lots on your conscious mind. When I do this in my office with clients, most commonly, they will take a literal legal pad this size and fill up two columns, one or two pages. So on the conscious mind, all of those things are trying to get attention. It's like everyone raising their hand, I want to drink a water. And there's too many because there's only one fountain and you need to line up. So I'm going to share with you what to do about this. Let me explain to you how the conscious mind is different than the unconscious mind, according to research. As you well know, the unconscious mind is almost unlimited. There's no capacity limit that any of us know about. We can continue to learn as long as our neurological pathways will respond to stimulus. So we can continue to learn and continue to learn. The conscious mind, in contrast, has a super limitation. And the limitation is it can't process very many things at the same time. Studies show that you can actually only process one thing at a time. Yes, you're thinking of multitasking and you're saying, but, but, but I'm really good at that. Well, the facts are, 
if you're good at multitasking, you're actually flipping from one thing to the next so fast it seems like you're doing it at the same time. For the sake of this conversation, to simplify it, let's just say, okay, fine, we can think of a few things at the same time-ish, and how many of those things can we think about at the same time? Let's count them. You're listening to me. As you're listening, intently thinking, my life's going to change in the next 10 minutes-ish. If I listen, you get a text that dings in, and you go, oh, you can still hear me while you're listening to that text or looking at that text, yeah? Then you think, oh my gosh, I've got to pull over and get gas. So you're thinking, okay, this exit's this far away. I can do that. Well, you can think of those three things at the same time, can't you? Yeah, you can. And then what's going to happen? Oh, there's a siren that goes by, so you need to move over. You can still hear me talking. You still know the text that came in, and you know what exit you're going to be taking off in just a moment. And you can sit there and wonder how the family is, you know, or something bad, or why is there a, you know, am I getting a ticket? Why is there a siren? So we could continue, and then let's say you have a passenger that's telling you a story. And you're like, well, can you tell me that in just a little bit? But they talk, and you're listening, because you want to be nice and listen. Can you hear them at the same time? Maybe you can. There's about five bits-ish of information that your unconscious can process at the same time. It's really not the same time, but it seems like the same time. The scientific formula, you can Google this, is seven plus or minus two bits of information at once that the conscious mind can process. The conscious mind can process seven plus or minus two bits of information at the same time. So if you take seven plus two, that would be nine. Minus two is five. So the conscious mind can hold about five-ish to nine-ish bits of information at the same time. If you can do nine, it's starting to get a little more into the subconscious about what the weather is and if you need to slow down while you're driving, while you're listening to me, while the policeman's going by, wait, you know what, when you know what exits you're going to get off of. So let's just go with five. Let's just say you can think of about five things at once on the conscious level. Hmm, how many did you write down? If you only wrote two down, you don't need this video. You're doing the, the Zen got it organized thing. But if you wrote down more than five things, then you need to keep listening and applying this like I do. Because if I wrote down all the things on my conscious mind, it's like scary, like a horror movie, like a scary thing, like with sound effects and then a subwoofer and then there's like dark things that go by and then there's light things that come by and then there's like, you know, angels are singing because so much of my life is just so good. But you know what? Look, we have to cater to the weakest link. If you have a great big bicep and it's really strong and you can lift a lot, if you hurt your elbow, then you probably can't lift as much today because you've hurt your elbow and you need to cater to the weakest link. If you can do a leg press, you can totally press way more than your own weight. If you hurt your knee, then you've got to go lighter on the weight, catering to the weakest link. So the weakest link is the conscious mind. So what do we do about this? We have here... And, and I'm going to apologize. I don't usually do that. I learned that I need to put my my camera on airplane mode because I got a phone call and it stopped the recording. <laughs> so I don't, eh, I don't know what I've said and what I haven't said. So I think that I, I know where I'm at. So let's just keep going. I'm pretty sure I talked to you about Tupperware containers. I'm not sure if it's a repeat. Yay, fine. So we have this big list. We have five categories that we've done. And the five categories are work, logistics, health, family, social. I'm not sure what we went over. So you've got these categories in your mind. And I'm going to take a Sharpie marker and write the name of the categories on each list. So I've got work and logistics for me. Now we're going to take the five categories and line them up. 
and everything on your list you're going to project into the category. So let's do work first. Project everything. And the dance for work would be, before I put it over in the container, would be this. That would be the dance. So when I put the stuff over there, then my dance for work would be, feels so good. So everything in my mind is over there in that Tupperware container. Then I have personal health. Personal health for me, personal slash health, I had terrible health issues. I was suicidal for a very brief moment in my life. I almost ruined my liver with medication. Would have had a separate container for that. But because it's all taken care of now in a really great way, through a process that I've been through for many years, I have no health issues that I know of that are showing up. So for now, I'm going to put personal, which is emotional things or working out at the gym with health. So personal and health are kind of together. So continue going with your categories. Which categories do you have? Do you have hobbies that needs to be a whole category? So as you make each category nicely here, you'll say, now what do I do? I feel so much better. Take a minute to introspect. Put your feet on the ground. Allow Mother Earth to support you and energetically connect with her. Open the top chakras of, the, of your head and connect to source and higher enlightenment and further enlightened knowledge. Feel your heart beating. And notice what thoughts do I have in my conscious mind? Any remnants, go ahead and set them where they go. Now my dance for logistics would be, it's okay, a beautiful thing. So you have your five containers. Now what do you do? Do you have better mental focus right now? Do you have better brain focus right now? Yes, you do. For those of you who are hearing this for the first time, you should feel markedly different. If you are used to my work, this will clear this all up right now, and you can go forward with your life. So now I want you to take your Tupperwares and stack them. And maybe your Tupperware is this deep. Maybe it's this deep. So stack them however deep they are. I just have the lids. And you're going to go like this. Now most people will take the stack and, and set it to your right. Set the stack here. Now all of this is your conscious mind stuff. We're not getting rid of anything. We're not throwing anything away. We're just organizing your clutter. So now, notice what it's like if you put it here. Now you can't really see anybody else. What if you put your stack back here? That's got to feel bad and weird, yeah, at this point. Like, no, 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 I don't want to forget about all my stuff. So the best place is usually about right here so that I can see you and I can see who I need to talk to. I can see my friends. Best gift you can give your friends is your presence. When the time is right, I will take the one that says work and bring it out. And work with all of it. And I'm so freaking focused. I actually have organized thinking techniques that are just rocking and unrolling right now. Nothing else but work. It's a beautiful thing. Then I put it back. Oh, okay, that was awesome. I'm going to pull out my family right now. You can go like this. And yes, you have presence with your family. Clutter and anxiety go together. You now have peace and presence with your family. Put it back. Put them all back here. Time to go to bed. Your mind is free and clear to sleep, to rejuvenate, until tomorrow. These topics can change often and I have to stop myself very often and I usually do it on the elliptical at the treadmill and I take a moment to say okay where's all my thoughts and which categories do I have and which where are we doing it again and put them where they need to go and then go forward with presence. Yes you like it? I love to know how to do this. Thank you universe for showing me how to 
mentally file my thoughts and declutter in just the right way. To have brain power and focus that helps me become my best and highest good. And as you do that, notice how it feels. Feeling good is a good thing. And I appreciate you for who you are. And thank you very much for letting me be part of your life. Have a great day. Talk soon. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe to my channel so we can hang out. Also go to www.whatstopsyou.com for notes to this podcast and learn more power skills to indeed live the best years of your life.